Hi, and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Monitor series. Today we'll be looking at the Biosystems PHD light. First things you're going to need is going to be the monitor itself, a 1.0 liter per minute regulator, some tubing, I always say stick with the Viton if you can, a calibration adapter, and a cylinder of trusted calibration gas. We always use the Ideal Gases brand. And for this calibration, the default for biosystems is hydrogen sulfide, 25 parts per million, carbon monoxide, 50 parts per million, methane, 50% of the LEL, or 2.5% by volume, oxygen, 18%, and then nitrogen balance. Also, always make sure you check the expiration date on your cylinder of calibration gas. Usually, cal gas is only good for about one year. Okay, first things first, in order to turn the unit on, you're going to press the blue button in the center here. Hold it in a few seconds. It'll beep, let go of it, and it'll turn on. Goes through a pretty long loading session when it starts up. Establishes the data logger. Goes through the self test. Gives you your current alarm levels for oxygen, combustibles carbon monoxide, and hydrogen sulfide. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, right now it's telling me we have a calibration due. I'm going to do it now. We're going to hit the blue button. Okay, now we're reading 20.9 across the board. First thing we're going to do is put our regulating equipment together here. What you'll do is take the regulator, screw it open, Always make sure you have a regulator open before you screw it on a cylinder of calibration gas. You don't want to jam the room air into the cylinder, which is what will happen if you have the regulator closed. All right, and once you hear gas, go ahead and turn that off. Okay. So stop here. Attach your gas to your tube. and the tubing to the cow cup. Okay, in order to start the instrument calibrating, we're going to take the button here, hit it three times. It's going to do a countdown, we'll hit it again. And now it's going to be doing a zero calibration right now. What will happen next is it's going to come up and give us a weight to the actual span calibration. That's this one right here. We're going to click the button. Put on our cal cup. Screw it in like so. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then turn the gas on. Okay, you'll see the monitor will then come up and say, please wait. Multi-cal gas detected. And it'll go through and automatically adjust the sensors on this one kind of an older unit. Usually you won't see these numbers actually changing on some of the newer instruments. So, Okay, the LEL sensor is set. Now it goes to carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide, and we are all set. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the gas off, and it's going to shut the monitor down. We'll go through saying it, saving all the data, etc. All we do is unscrew the calibration cup. And hook everything. Always make sure you unscrew a regulator from a bottle of calibration gas. Never leave the regulator screwed in. Don't want the cylinder to tip over or any of the gas to get up inside here and react with the walls of the regulator. It doesn't happen often, but occasionally an impurity will cause it to happen. And you'll see your hydrogen sulfide leak out. Okay. Now with that, we're all set actually.
If you guys have any questions on any, any lines with any monitor, go ahead and give us a call over at 734 365 7192 and we're extension 2. Again, my name is James. You can email me at james at idealcalibrations.com or visit our website www.idealcalibrations.com for calibration gas guides and uh, our whole video series. We'd like to thank John over at ST Communications for letting us borrow this monitor that we showed you how to calibrate on today. And just hope you guys have a wonderful day and keep it safe out there.